Welcome back, guys. Welcome to uh, another bug-filled episode of Why Not Play. This you know is, it. Uh, this is Mike. And this is Lewis. And there you go. And he... Oh, he's slurping it. Yep. Uh, it's jelly. Dude, it's jelly. He's not gonna go like, nom 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 nom. Could you imagine if he was slurping me? Cause I'm sorry. I mean, he's got chompers. I'm sure it would cut it down to the point. Like, it just... That's what I thought at first until you fucking told me that it was fucking jelly or fucking jello. Yeah. I thought it was just like meat. You're like, oh, we're getting in some meat. Like, you know, like the other Digimon want. No. Nope. Please help me. There we go. Come back. <laughs> that was it. Hey, there you go. Yeah, now we can progress. A little. <laughs> Woo. Fucking who. Yeah, we'll progress a this little. Is, uh, this is great. Yeah, we'll yeah. finally get out of this area, cause, cause <laughs> while we were on break, night Mike was basically just saying, and the, just the music, the music is starting is, to bore me, and yeah. it's, it doesn't help that it's starting to get like late yeah. into the night, and I just yeah, just, I may I may have gotten all, I may have gotten like a really really good sleep last night, cause you know I finally got to go back in my own bed, yeah, and it's. But at the end of the day, it, it, like you know, it's it's late, and you know, people get tired. Yeah, it happens. Uh, speaking of beds and tired and whatnot, um, so yeah, another fun story of Mike being away. Oh please, was uh was the very uncomfortable bed that I had to sleep in. Oh, Cause go un on. Cause unlike uh, all the other times, I would go up and I would stay over at my grandparents' place, which is this yes. uh, humble-sized building, which has three floors yes, yes. for three different uh, apartments or what so. Yes. But, th but they're decently sized. So... Because everyone from my family drove up to, to deal with this, um, there was go. no space for me to sleep where I normally would. Oh, great timing! And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pause a little because I just, I, I want to hear there are this. Other apart from yourself Ooh. in the digital world. Are there? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so far, all I've seen is just uh, this cutie girl who isn't even saying anything in the cutscene, but the she's clearly been talking were. in the They're game, yeah. in which trouble. makes no fucking sense. I love Silent Protagonist, don't you? No, that's that's a really bad game design way of creating a Silent Protagonist. Yeah, you, you don't have them not them talk out. in the game, like in the cutscenes, but then in the actual game, they're straight if up talking. Like, there's no, oh, they're mute or they're shy, so they don't want to say anything. No, she's been talking. World. She's been talking to the and Digimon. She's been saying great job at the soon. end and all this like other shit. No. No. You, you don't sell me on this. And I want to know what his fucking eyes look like now because all I see is giant shagged hair. Yeah. You want to laugh? Shoot. He's a mega level. Got a second? That's a mega level. Yeah, GG1. This, this old man. Yeah. And I can My even say old man because yeah, GG Mon is just a play on words for OG san. Yeah. Which is supposed to be old man in er older man in Japanese. Yeah. So yeah. It's literally an old man. Hmm. 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 Yeah. So uh Back to back to uncomfortableness. Yes. So please continue. Because of how many people showed up, right? I couldn't stay in my grandparents' floor, right? Because they, they had no space. Because all, right, all of it was because uh, my parents were staying there, and both of my sisters were staying there, and it's not just my sisters; it's my sisters and their husbands and their kids. <laughs> so there was no space for me, and there was no space for my little sister Victoria. So we ended up going into the second floor, where uh, my aunt lives. So 
how it worked was, uh, since, uh, since my other aunt, uh, was, uh, away, uh, dealing with some other family issues pertaining specifically to her side of the family, yeah. uh, my little sister got to sleep with my aunt, who is still there. And then me, I got to sleep in the little guest room that she has. And I would say, have you ever seen, uh, like the early Harry Potter movies? Yeah. Like what? Like, um... Like the, like the first two movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you remember how from the first movie to the second movie, Harry went from sleeping in the cupboard under the stairs into like this really small room yeah and it's like it's really small but hey it's an improvement from the cupboard <laughs> way better he has you know it's not just a bed like yeah. you have like at least Some. a little you have like a little thicket where you could just walk yeah now the room i stayed in was slightly smaller than that <laughs> like he, here, here, here's the size of the room. Uh, you had the bed. Right. There's the dresser in front of the bed. Yes, yes. The TV is in front of the bed. Training right. Time. And then to the right of the dresser is the little sliding door, which opens and closes. And then on the right side of the bed, on the upper part, there was a uh, a mini closet. Which acted as both a mirror and a closet. Like a really small closet. Like if I was to stand up, the width of that closet would be slightly bigger than my width. That's honestly fucking hilarious. And yeah, so I had that little walkway to get in and out. And then there was the single bed. Because the bed was is only meant for one person to sleep on. Of course. That bed. That bed. Was so firm that you know how I have these, uh, these, uh, Bluetooth headphones that I normally use to yeah, listen to music when I go into work? Like, yeah. and you've seen them around because I bring them out. Yeah, of course. I put them on the bed because I was going to put them on the charger. Now, I've had instances where at home, like, some parts of my body would have gone over them, but because the bed isn't as firm, it would sink into the bed. And I would feel the pressure, it's like, oh, okay, so I'm on it, I, I move up. My knee connected with the headset, or the headphones. And then, because of how firm this was, this is what happened. A little bit of pressure from my knee. <laughs> the piece stronger. broke off. And it is now hanging by the <laughs> fucking... It is hanging. It is dangling. By the smallest... By the fucking uh, wiring. Oh my god. You know, you know god. what? You know what? what? I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm going to take a picture of it and Bill just like... Put it up. Just like have it put up right there, in the fucking center. Since oh, since we're just doing training right now. Exactly. There you go. There you go. You get to see how fucking. That is what a firm bed can fucking do to your shit, guys. <laughs> so lesson learned: if you have to sleep on a really firm bed, keep your shit off the bed, cause your body mass is going to break it. I don't care how light you are, or how you're, light you think you are, you're gonna break it. And it's not even your fault. It's the bed's fault because it made a hard surface. Okay, let's pay everyone. I mean, I mean, I, I, I will always be grateful for the fact that I had that spot to sleep in, period. Yeah. So I'm not gonna complain in that aspect. I'm, I'm just fondly looking back at this as a funny Come experience. On, yeah, you know, a funny experience that's probably going to cost me 40 bucks when I have to inevitably replace that headset. Of course. Right <laughs> of course. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not paying the original retail price, which is like fucking $180. Ooh. That was back when they were brand new. 
Fucking hell, man. But it's it's been a couple of years, so the price has gone down substantially. So it's like, hey, that's perfectly fine. For 40 bucks for a really decent pair of headset. Bluetooth headphones that have great sound quality. Even better than like some even better than Beats headphones, if I honestly have to give my opinion about it. Honestly, like, I've heard a lot of people talk about Beats, and you know, basically, like, a lot it, of people. It, you're just buying the brand. Of, you're buying the brand. Honestly, you all know what a lot of people just say about Beats. Literally, they're only good if you listen to a lot of bass heavy music because the treble on it is garbage as fuck. Yeah. Like, if songs have, like, really high pitches and stuff like that, it's like, they sound like fucking Gar trash. They sound like garbage, and I've heard it, and it's like the pair that I have. It has a really good balance of both treble and bass, so I, I enjoy it more. Especially since I do I do like my music. I mean, there was a point in my life where I actually did play music for a while, but oh, then yeah. uh, but then uh, reality kind of killed that. Right. And, uh, that 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 that'll be a story for another time. That'll um, be the story. Not not even not even for the next episode. Not even. Not even. All right then. But, but next for now, episode. Next episode. We'll see you guys there at the story point. Take care, guys.